my daughter is in eighth grade, so I can think a little bit about like where she's going. And I think the game is actually a really good, it would really be good to have science teachers and social studies teachers engaged. The game opens up discussions for science concepts um, and the different technologies that are available and the concepts behind those energy technologies. So that's like the science component. But then for the social science, right, there's the whole discussion of why are we worried about renewable electricity? Like, what's the purpose of that? And an introduction to climate change. There is a need for more education about climate in schools. Start introducing things like stakeholder engagement in the political process and um, the rules that may enable or prevent regulation that may enable or prevent development of these renewable resources. So I think it's actually a really cool game where you can integrate both the science, like the STEM and the social science part, um, which I think would be really useful in high school or even middle school um, to have kids think about those two sides. I think adapting the game to regions and the context of those regions, like the, both the, the natural environments around those regions, how climate change is affecting those regions, but also what the power system looks in those regions right now and what the actually like perceptions about energy sources in the different regions, um, having that library of regions in the game would then lead to discussions that are context specific, that the students might be more able to contextualize with that discussion. So if you're in California and the game has something about fires, the kids will have a context. They've experienced the fire. So you, they have, it isn't an abstract concept. They have experienced it. And I think that can really help.